Coucou les filles, salam my loves, marhaba habibete. Uh, May favorites, let's do it. It has been a moment. Did I do April favorites? Maybe, I can't remember, I think so. Um, but I, uh, I want to do some May favorites for you guys. My um, makeup style, is that a thing? Is that the word I'm looking for? Maybe? Um, the way in which I've, I've, I have been doing my makeup recently has changed. If you guys have been here for a while, you know that I used to be the girl that said I went all out like full drag makeup basically almost or nothing at all. But that's kind of changed recently. Part, part of it is um, I've gotten my lash extensions recently and with my lash, lash extensions, my skin doing a lot better. I um, love literally running out of the house with a bold lip and just my lashes. And I love the look that it is and it's easy and it's quick. And if I even have 30 seconds, it means that I can feel bold and awesome and, and happy. Um, and then, so that's kind of affected the amount of makeup. That's a very minimal makeup. Um, but the other part of it is I'm also been super, super, super busy with work and um, waking up with 45 minutes to do my makeup just isn't happening. And so I was going these long stretches without wearing anything. And I'm like, okay, dude, there's a middle ground here, right? Like you can do a 15 minute, very basic face, still take that time. So to me, it's less about, um, going out with a face on and more like the 15 minutes that I can sit and it's me time. That to me is what was more important. Um, and that to me is what brought me joy and, and peace and, um, some of you that don't connect with makeup that way are gonna look at me and think I'm crazy, but those of you that do, and the vast majority I think of, of the ones of us here get it that way. So it's that like 15 minutes of, of self-care and self-love. Um, and even if the look doesn't excite me as much throughout the day, I, I've taken that time for myself. Um, and so yeah, I, I'm, this is all a precursor to the fact that the favorites I'm gonna show you um, are a little bit different than I think, not different, but n not as diverse, like not as many different kinds of products. It's basically lips and skin, um, a little bit of brows. So there's that. Um, <laughs> there's also a part of me that's gonna show you a bunch of lipsticks, even though I have no lipstick on today. Um, I usually try to pre-film before I hit Ramadan um, for you guys, because my lips are usually such a disaster by the time um, Ramadan, rolls around that I'm not wearing lipstick and so it feels weird to end my videos with life is too short to wear wearing lipstick if I'm not wearing any, but I didn't have time to pre-film. <laughs> so we're gonna film these videos throughout the month without any lipstick on and you guys are gonna get it. Um, just like you get that when I say that it's more, it's about more than just lipstick, right? When I say it, it's about just being bold in life in general. That's the way I take it anyways, so. Oh, I've been in a rambly mood. All these videos are nice and rambly. So those of you that have missed my rambly videos, you're welcome. And those of you that haven't, you can maybe tune into another video and see if I'm in a more concise mood. <laughs> Anyways, let's do some favorites. Um, for base, I've had a couple products that are standout. I'm on my second tube of the Clé de Peau Radiant Cream Foundation. Um, this one is in the shade 020. I don't think this is my shade. I was in 030 before, which was a little dark. This one seems a little too pink. Um, so I think if I bought a third tube, I would try to do the B20. Um, I, I can kind of get away with it with a veil because you're not really matching to a neck. Um, I kind of get away with a whole bunch of different foundation shades, but I would like it to be where it, I didn't have to cover, you know, like if I missed a spot, it wasn't so drastically obvious. So I think if I pick up a third tube, I'll pick up a different color. I do love the finish. I do love the coverage. I do um, really enjoy everything except the price tag with this guy. Um, so I have been wearing it all month long. Uh, I will say that I've seen a couple videos about the new Chanel Sublimage uh, foundation. I love the Sublimage eye cream. And so, I feel like I'm using it as an excuse to be like, and so I will probably love the foundation. No, and so I will probably at some point try that ridiculously overpriced foundation, um, which is why I say if I buy a third tube, um, where am I going with this? Oh, I'm trying to use this up before I buy anything else. So anyways, foundation that I have been loving. The next is the Tarte Shape Tape. I really don't want to give in to the hype, um, but I have really, really been enjoying this. And like I said, there are days when I'll just want to wear something very minimal. Um, if I'm feeling like I'm a little bit tired and just the lash extension and lipsticks won't do, I, there have been days where I've just popped a little bit of this under my eyes. It is quite thick, like I wish, I get that because I want that more opaque coverage um, and that more intense pop, I do have to also 
um, acknowledge that I'm going to get something a little bit heavier. So if I am feeling quite dry, it might, you know, um, show a little bit more. <sighs> Ready out of breath. <laughs> and I want a glass of water, but I'm fasting. So we're going to power through. Um, which is like, if, that, if there's, there's one thing to say about this that isn't perfect is that if you do have some dryness, it will like flake off in those areas a little bit. But I do, unfortunately, I have bought into the hype. It is really lovely. I have the the, sh the lightest shade in fair because I like that much of a of an intense under eye highlight. Um, but I use so little of this that you can buy this tube and it will last you almost forever. Okay, not almost forever, but a really long time. <laughs> so yeah, I do recommend it if you can get your hands on it. I still haven't seen where we get it here in Canada. I picked that one up at Ulta when I was down in the States. But Ulta does now ship to Canada. So you have that option, I guess. Okay um brows i have been very lucky that i got to go to uh, california in april and may so i got to go see my brow ladies down there and so my brows have been kind of low maintenance i am now having like anxiety because the next time i go down will be probably september for the next race so i've got to try to maintain these <laughs> but in the meantime when they have been nice and and low-key i've been using the uh, glossier boy, boy brow this is in black brown literally just to give an extra little bit of texture and hold um, my brother picked this up for me when he was in new york he's this has been a recurring theme he's been buying me a lot of makeup recently anyways so he did and i i really enjoyed just putting it through my brows for an extra little bit of of texture and hold but that that's it that's all that's been in my brows recently and I love when they're fresh. Anyone else get that? If you if you microblade or if you get them like just groomed, there's nothing better than a freshly groomed brow that's nice and low maintenance, right? Anyways, a couple of lipsticks that I have really been enjoying um, on two different ends of the spectrum. Um, Samantha Ravendal, I'm saying that totally wrong, but Samantha, you guys know her probably here on YouTube. She did a collab with MAC. Um, I think MAC did these with all kinds of beauty bloggers around the world. And then they released the lipstick in the country where the blogger is based. So these ones came to Canada. Um, totally like a very nude, very unlike me kind of color, but I have really been enjoying them. I forgot how lovely and like hydrating cream sheen lipsticks are. Um, so they're great on those days where your lips are dry. Also, they wear away in a really beautiful way. So it it's not like you're left with a really patchy look that you feel like you have to touch up. I have really been enjoying it on those days when I want a little bit of glisten, a little bit of glow, but I know that I'm going to be running between coffee meetings and lunches and all kinds of stuff. And I won't have time to touch up a high maintenance lipstick. Um, this has been really just nice and, and peppy, peppy. Sure. Let's go with that. <laughs> Kat Von D's Berlin. Um, I'm still working on a little, uh, sample size one. This was one of the first things that, um, Noel actually gave me. We did like the first time we met, we did this gigantic swap and this was one of the um, lip products in there and I have been using it ever since. I love it. It's such a beautiful pop of color. It's this kind of watermelon-y um, fuchsia color that I have a really hard time finding one that I like. It's very difficult for me to find a fuchsia or even like watermelon that I enjoy, but as soon as I find one, I can't stop wearing it. Um, so... I love it. As soon as I finish this guy, which I mean, it's lasted me this long. I doubt that I actually will ever go through the whole thing, but if I ever do, I'll totally buy it a full size. The other one is the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte uh, Lipstick and Heartbreaker. My only qualm with this guy is that it doesn't, it's not like a bulletproof matte lipstick. It does move around. Um, so it is one of those high maintenance ones. So I have to um, wear it on days where I know I'm going to have the time to touch it up. Does that make sense? But it is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color. Um, I can't get enough of this. This one was a present from Iram actually. And, uh, I think I've worn it a couple of videos. I love it. It's been so great. Um, so yeah, I did also this month pull out a lot of my, I'm going to wipe this down before I get it everywhere. A lot of my LA Splash, like crazy colored lipsticks, like my greens and my blues and my grays. And they've all gone bad, I think, because, um, those lipsticks usually are budge proof. They don't go anywhere. You need to take like a heavy oil-based cleanser to them to get them off your lips. But I found as I was wearing them, um, they just kept flaking off my lips. So I, um, and they, like, they've always had, I had a strong chemically scent. So it wasn't like the scent that I noticed. It was just the way I was wearing them. So I do have to make an order at some point, um, to replace them. <laughs> uh, but you know how I feel about shipping costs. So I'm going to wait a little bit until I, you know, either get over that late one night, <laughs> uh, when I'm just like impulse shopping or, um, wait till I've got enough that I can qualify for free shipping or be in the S or whatever. I'll figure it out. 
anyways. Uh, the, well, I get two more favorites uh, that were just shown in my in my haul video. They're two face palettes. So it's the Lorac Parts of the Caribbean face palette and the Becca um, and Chrissy Teigen collab. This guy is beautiful. I was actually buying it because I'm a fan of the franchise. I've watched the movies um, and all that kind of jazz. And like my 14th birthday party was pirates themed. Anyways, not pirates, like in general, Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, but I was super, super impressed by how beautifully pigmented these are. They're really pigmented, really blendable, really, really beautiful. Um, I know a lot of times with these kind of special edition collabs, it's easy to like walk away because you're like, it's just gimmicky. I wouldn't walk away. I'd give this another look. And like I said in my haul video, I think this collection actually went on sale in Ulta. So it might be the perfect chance to nab it. Um, I've got the bronzer in here as a blush and then the, this guy kind of as a blush topper. Um, it is, it's really, really gorgeous and I, uh, I highly recommend it. And then the Becca Chrissy Teigen, I think the winners in this palette are the highlights, um, and the bronzer, which I also use as a blush occasionally. This like raspberry shade is not my absolute favorite. Um, and it's very close to the raspberry shade they have in the Jaclyn Hill palette, but three out of four being total winners and the fourth just not being my color. Again, it's one I would totally recommend. That is it. Those are my favorites. Um, let me know what you guys have been loving in the month of May, makeup wise. Um, like I said in my haul, I'm kind of in a shopping mood, so I would love to keep compiling a little wish list. Um, and I mean, Naid, end of Ramadan's coming up. Like there's there's an occasional splurge there. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna do some points of positivity and like I do in these videos, I'll do them for the month of May, like highlights for my whole month. Uh, and yeah, we'll go from there. So my first uh, point of positivity is hands down getting to meet Lori. If you're watching, hello. Thank you again for saying hello. Um, Lori will actually be the first person that actually, will she? Yeah, that has come up to me. No, that's a lie. Sorry, Lori. There was one other person in a Sephora in San Diego that's like, that came out to me and said, hi, now watch your videos. Um, but Lori was the first person who like, I've had like a really, in, like a, a full on conversation with here and then in person. It was just, I'm like an awkward human being just by my nature. Um, <laughs> and when we were talking to each other, it was just like the most natural, organic, beautiful conversation. I was having a rough day and I was not in a good headspace and it just completely pulled me out of that um, for no other reason than it was just long and stressful and um, tiring at work, right? And I was just dealing with some things and I internalized all these things. Anyways, video for another day. But um, it was like just at the perfect moment and such a beautiful moment. And so thank you for saying hello. Thank you for your friendship and your love. And I could sit here and gush all day, but um, it was definitely the highlight of my month for sure. Um, I don't have to say three, but that definitely, definitely was the highlight of my, man, my month. Um, so thank you. My second point of positivity was a really, really beautiful um, Mother's Day weekend trip to California. So this is where are you? Ta -da! We did the Tinkerbell half marathon. It was a really special race because it will be the one year anniversary of my first half marathon. So I did Tinkerbell last year and this was cool to like, um, I mean, I've done three others. What do we do? We did Tinkerbell in May and then we did Avengers in November and Star Wars in January and then the hot chocolate 15K in March and then this one in May. Um, but it was the kind of the one year anniversary of my first half and it was over Mother's Day and my brother flew in and my sister flew in and the three of us were there together um, and the three of us ran and then we were there with my mom and it was just such a beautiful, beautiful weekend where it was all about like positivity and health and love and um, kind of everything else that was going on kind of got suspended for that weekend and it was just, it's such a beautiful, event for which I feel really, really humbled and really, really blessed. And um, I hope we get to do it again. If you're watching the two of you, please come do it again with me next year. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was my second point of positivity for sure. And then my third is, I don't know if I've told you guys, I'm starting motorcycle lessons. I'm gonna give you a moment. For any of you that know me are like shaking your heads. I'm the clumsiest human being in the history of the world. If Alex is watching, she can attest to the fact that I cannot even ride a bike in a straight line. So this should be interesting. I am super excited. I'm kind of terrified because I've done the in-class portion and they like throw out you all the ways you could hurt yourself and all the padding. And like, I didn't realize, I'm like, dude, throw on a helmet and off you go. Oh no, there's like back pads and 
jeans with Kevlar in them. So if you, you don't get road rash and to, like all kinds of ways to protect yourself on this machine, which makes sense, right? But I'm, I'm equal parts cautious and nervous, which they tell you is good because it means that you've got an eye for the fact that this is something dangerous and be safe. And equal parts like so freaking incredibly excited. You want to see me and my bike helmet? Hold on, I will pull up a picture of me in this gigantic and ridiculous bike helmet. Just wait, just, just wait for it. Do you see this helmet? Do you? Yeah, so I've been wearing it routinely to like adjust to how heavy it is um, and also how claustrophobic I feel in it. That's the other problem. So I'm like slowly getting myself used to wearing it without feeling like I want to just rip it off. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. I've got like on, on road, on bike, um, lessons coming up in June, but uh, it's definitely been a highlight of my month to like, I actually have to get up back on like a road bike and get my balance. This has been more like an update on what happened in my life in May than a favorites, but whatever. Um, so yeah, that's, that's been making me smile and making me super happy. As always, please let me know what your points of positivity for the day, for the week, for the month have been. Um, let's share in that joy. We need, we need more of it in our world for sure. Um, I need more of it in my life. So selfishly, please share. Anyways, I am running out of breath and um, saliva. <laughs> so I'm going to go. Uh, I will talk to you guys soon. But before I leave you, as always, let me remind you that life is just way too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.